One. Two. I also have a coupon code for £100 for all of my viewers. Some good news to share in this vlog, and that is that I have become. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to a rainy day vlog. Now, we had plans. You want to cuddle? Yeah. All right. We had plans to go and have a nice countryside walk this bye morning. Bye. Hello. Bye bye. Say morning. Morning. Oh, but the rain has stopped those plans, so it's we're thinking of a plan B. Good. Thank you guys. Have a good one. See you later. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. All the best. Random one. Are there any Doctor Who fans amongst the viewers? Because Lucy has uh, somehow managed to do an incredible TARDIS sound effect. Are you proud of that? Okay, enough of that. We're going to get copyright claim. Coffee arrived at the garden centre. The next best option. It's a classic, isn't it? For a rainy day. Yeah. It really is. Like, there's some animals here Coda can look at. There's a play area we can take him to in a minute. I'm gonna get some breakfast here, but I think Lucy might have something up her sleeve when we get back home. So, Lucy's. Sorry, I think I've mentioned that. That's an awful lot of pressure you've just put. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy's food is always better than eating out. I have to say. Like, I literally have to say that. <laughs> about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. So once again here we are in a kids' play area. No one else is here. My legs are gonna stick. I've not got enough of a... <laughs> no movement whatsoever. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the kind of bad points of the UK summer because... Yeah, this is meant to be the hot month. It is, July is the hot month. Yeah, it is the most unreliable thing in the world. You can have plans. I mean, yesterday was sunny, bright, hot. We were in shorts, t-shirts, had the aircon on a full blast this morning. We've had to wrap up, We've, we're cold, and your plans can change just like that. So if you're watching in the US or somewhere like that, and you live, say you live in California, I'm pretty sure you can guarantee the weather. That's yeah, why a lot of people you move out there. You can just, oh, <laughs> you can just make plans. You can just, you know it's gonna be hot and sunny. Can't do that in the UK because summer at any point can turn into a day like today, grey, cloudy, windy, rainy, and your plans get messed up. <laughs> Usually what we would do is get in touch with some of our friends and say, hey, do you fancy doing something? It's a rainy day, come over. Before kids, go to the cinema, go for food, go for lunch, go to the mall, something like that. Problem is, all of our friends in the UK, and we have very few friends, they're not YouTubers like us, meaning most of them aren't around in the week. So in the week and not on weekends, we're pretty much alone. I think we were saying in a vlog the other day how it feels like we've got this split life because when we go out to Manila, we have so many friends there that obviously we don't see when we're in England. And then when we're in England, we've got loads of friends we obviously don't see when we're in the Philippines. So it's it's so bizarre. Lucy, 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 come, 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 come. Pull up challenge part two. 
No, 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 you'll be fine. So you managed, I think, four the other day in the I last vlog? No, you did four. I think you did four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We have friends in different parts of the world that we don't see obviously when we're not in that part of the world but it's who we really miss when we're not there so like right now we are really missing all our friends in manila all the kids that we know out there are like growing up people are having more babies we don't get to see them as much as we'd like to but then equally when we were living in manila the thing that we struggled with the most out there was missing our family so it's like once you've got this strange i think some of you can relate in the comments i think we've had a few people say before like you've got two different places you've lived and you've got like a full life there it's amazing having sort of friends all over the world but once you've done that you're always going to be missing someone because wherever you are the other people aren't there so it's kind of hard because we'd love to see our friends out there more right now what we're doing like works really well for us and it's this weird like yeah we just we can't win we can't have both we literally can't ever have both at the same time that's why we're so excited by the idea of some family coming out to the Philippines, I think. So there's a little bit of a crossover. And then obviously if any of our friends from the Philippines wanted to come to England, that would be amazing. We could show them around. So it's, we it's weird. It's a very weird and unusual situation that I don't think many people are in. But then I guess people, people move country, don't they? And people travel and then like have people in different places. I guess it's quite a normal thing, but it just feels weird. And it really does just feel like this massive divide when we're in one place. It's such a different life to the other place. But yeah. Anyway, Koda needs his nap in a second, doesn't he? We should probably get going. It's still raining, it's still very grey. I don't mind the grey weather. The other day it was this kind of weather when I put Christmas music on, put a pretend fireplace picture video thing on the TV and lit a cinnamon candle and I pretended it was Christmas and I felt very cosy. George, however, isn't a fan of the dark and the rubbish weather. No, I can get into like a cosy mood, but if I wake up and it's grey, wet, cloudy, rainy, then I don't know, for me, I think it's because I overvalue the other way. If I wake up and it's sunny, hot, bright, I'm in a good mood straight away. See you later. <laughs> okay guys, time for a haul to introduce you guys to a company I'm very excited to be working with in this video and that is Timu. I wish I knew about this company when we started renovating our house because I swear I could have saved so much money. The prices are ridiculous. The quality is still really good, but this haul is a bit different because I've got 100 pound coupons for my followers. So keep watching to find out a little bit more about that in a second. And I cannot wait to share with you some of the things I've picked up. They're a website with a million different categories. So I'm gonna like separate it into homeware stuff, uh, baby stuff, like toddler baby stuff, and then clothing. So we've got three different things to go through today and I'm showing you like my favorite bits that I've picked up. Starting with this beautiful frying pan. It's like a non-stick frying pan in this amazing beige color. And look at the handle. How nice is that? And this was around 20 pounds, which I think you don't normally pay that for something like this. I always feel like I'm spilling over the sides in all my frying pans, so I'm super excited to have something a bit deeper. I've got some new utensils just here. The silicon is, again, a nice light beige color, which is just perfect for our kitchen. And I haven't bought any new utensils for the kitchen in years, so I'm very excited for that. I've got so much to show you. I need to pick the pace up a bit here. <laughs> I also picked up these candles, and they're these ones that are battery powered. That flicker so you can see i'm trying to stay still to show you it's moving on its own so i thought having these three sort of sat together somewhere on the side could look really really nice and obviously having a toddler running around there's now no risk of fire when they're not real flames the next thing i picked up was this little pretend balloon animal dog ornament and i've wanted one like this for so long i've never seen the checkered pattern i then picked up this glass milk jug so when we've got guests around we can offer them milk in a little pretend glass milk carton and i just love it i think it's really really cool and lastly in the homeware section are these glass straws I've wanted some like this for a long time and they'll just look really nice with iced coffee should we do kids stuff next yeah let's do some baby stuff um so i picked up a few bits for coda that are kind of like montessori style different bowls in the bottom and then different colored dinosaurs coda loves the dinosaur so it's literally perfect for him and then using these tongs he can put in the correct color of dinosaur into the right pot i think it's so good for them learning skills like this and obviously the tongs are really good for their fine motor skills and this was only a couple of pounds then the next thing is this 
little flashcards with these animals on. Got the animals to match. So he can start like understanding pairing, like it's like a matching game. And then moving on to some of the clothing, I'm wearing some of it. So this hat, let me give you a quick close up there. Absolutely love it. And then I picked up a couple more bits for Coda. We've got this really cute t-shirt. This is far out and it's just got like space patterns on. And also this adorable matching set. Little brown teddy bear on with a matching pair of shorts. This is gonna be covered in spaghetti bolognese probably within three days. But yeah, that's the end of the haul. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to check out. You can download the Timu app for a bit of an easier shopping experience, but I also have a coupon code for 100 pounds for all of my viewers. 100 pounds to spend at Timu. So you can either click the link below or you can type this code into the Timu app. They've also got free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments if you pick anything up from yourself. And thanks so much again to Timu for sponsoring this vlog. So it's not actually all doom and gloom guys in this vlog today, despite the weather. We actually have some good news to share in this vlog. And that is that I have become an uncle. My sister had a baby and we were waiting ages, like about, I want to say about nine months actually. <laughs> no, super exciting. New member of the family. She is very, very cute and we are all delighted all over the moon. My parents, Coda's grandparents now have another grandchild and it just feels like our family's growing and getting closer. And I just wanted for 80 year old George when he's lying, I can say on my deathbed, that's a bit dramatic if I'm 80. Hopefully not, hopefully I've got a good few years. For future George who's, where will I be when I'm 80? Maybe somewhere exotic, lying on a beach, retired from YouTube. Uh, when I'm watching all of these vlogs back, watching the story of our lives back, I'll remember the moment that I became an uncle. <laughs> Coda is down for his nap and Lucy has just made me the breakfast bagel of dreams. So I'm gonna tuck into that now. Does anyone else get as excited as me about food? If you say no, you're lying. I know you guys on this channel, we filmed enough food videos. Oh, there's a nice leaf in my face. Filmed enough food videos over the years to uh, know that you guys also enjoy delicious food. Lucy's, look at this, it's a tower. Very, very lucky to have Lucy in my life for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that she's an incredible cook. Don't know where to start with this. This reminds me of the bagel from Wildflower. Oh, look at this. Okay, I'm just gonna go in. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, so good. So we've got chicken, huge piece of chicken in there. Egg, avocado, cheese, seasoned beautifully, sesame bagel. Delicious. Wow, that is so clever. You cleaning me? Yeah. Yeah. Clean me? Wow. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit later now and it's tipping it down with rain and I'm doing a barbecue because I said we'd have a barbecue tonight, no matter the weather. And I've stuck to my promise. So the Kamado Joe out here, I'm collaborating with them on Instagram, so check out my Instagram if you haven't already. I've put some really cool recipe reels up and I've got loads more to come. But it's currently got some pork steaks in and I've gonna I've made a nice manchego salad and we've got some stuffed peppers and some patatas and bravas. Um so yeah, bit of a random one. A few weird things together, but I think it should taste really nice um on the plate when it's all ready. But yeah, we've got some really fun ideas on this. Uh we're gonna do like pulled pork soon and brisket and I wanna do I wanna try like a Filipino barbecue type thing as well because I feel like we finally got outdoor cooking space so we can do that and I've never attempted it properly. That could be cool. But yeah I guess we'll pick the camera up again soon once it's ready because right now it's just a waiting game. You can see the smoke coming out of it. I love it because it's all covered. I can literally stand watching it from indoors and just occasionally go out and turn it. It's literally perfect. Um, I would take you out with me, but I don't really want to get the camera wet. So if it calms down in a second, I'll show you underneath the lid. Lid, that was very deep, lid. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Yeah.
I was in the rain making that for you. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> so it would be rude to not do a little taste test on the vlog. Really good. Lucy's already tucked in. Mm. I'm gonna try some now. Two of your meals I've tried on camera today. This barbecue is insane, isn't it? Uh-huh. Let's try this pork. Mm, looks so good. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Wow. Got some flavour. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, so good. Oh, delicious. The fat's gone like, oh, it's all amazing. Got potatoes, we've got some salad as well, some ancheco cheese. Delicious. We're going to sign off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching Day. Come along with us. Again, we made the most of the UK weather. We still did outdoor <laughs> cooking in the, rain. <laughs> in the rain. It's crazy. That's honestly one of the things about living, I said it earlier, one of the things about living in the UK in the summer unpredictability but here we are again two british people talking about the weather classic very stereotypical but mm -hmm. if you enjoy this vlog please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new and we'll see you in another vlog very very soon goodbye guys. Mm -hmm.